Jennifer Hudson and Celine Dion were among the superstar singers who took part in the Aretha Franklin tribute Aretha, a Grammy celebration for the Queen of Soul, which was slated to air on CBS Sunday evening. Alicia Keys, John Legend and Kelly Clarkson were other musical stars on hand to pay tribute to the late Queen of Soul in the Tyler Perry-hosted ceremony, in addition to legends such as Smokey Robinson and Patti LaBelle and Hollywood standouts Angela Bassett and Courtney B. Vance. The concert was filmed in front of 5,500 people January 13 at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, less than five months after Franklin's death at 76 on August 19 following a battle with pancreatic cancer. Veteran producer Clive Davis, one of the show's producers, said in December that this unique concert, featuring many of today's greatest artists, will celebrate Aretha in a spectacular manner befitting her once-in-a-lifetime talent. Davis had originally devised the show as a tribute to Franklin while she was alive, and it would have been held in New York City, according to the Detroit Free Press. Host Perry told the paper that the only thing she would have regretted is not being up there to outsing everybody and show them how it really goes. In our lifetime, there will never be another voice like her. Who knows if there will ever be another woman who will endure as much as she did, to sing the way she did, and conquer every genre of music. It's the latest in a series of memorials for the late respect singer, whose August 31st funeral in Detroit featured performances from Hudson, Stevie Wonder, and Ariana Grande. Franklin was also honored in segments at the Grammys, Oscars and Emmys Awards. Past Grammy events have been held for artists such as the Beatles. Stevie Wonder, and Frank Sinatra.